Chess Pride and welcome back to another video on my channel. Back a couple weeks ago, I decided to do this shell challenge because this image popped up on my Instagram feed and was like a really fun summary challenge. So I decided to do it. And when I did it last, I turned it into a party boat, which was fun and all. I really enjoyed doing the party area on the roof. But after I finished, I kind of help but wonder, what if I had done a wedding venue? I mean, imagine the view of being married on the top of that boat. Absolutely beautiful. So before the end of July, which is when the challenge is due at the end of July, I want to attempt the shell challenge again, but this time make it a wedding venue. So this is the shell challenge on the gallery. It is but I uh this Jaqui five. This one, I'm going to spell it because I'm, I don't want to mispronounce it, but it's J-A-Q-U-I-E-5-6-1. This is the air shell challenge, and basically, if you don't know what a shell challenge is, it, you basically just take the shell of a build, someone uploads an empty shell of the build, and the basic rules are is you cannot move anything that is placed there, like walls, doors, windows, all that. Uh, basically, you just have to make a a build. It can really be whatever you want. But you have to make a build and you cannot touch existing walls or add uh, walls that touch those walls. That is, that is just kind of the general rules of a shell challenge. And this is what this one is. I will show it up close more, but it has a few layers and it, like I said, is due the last day of July, and it has this hashtag right here you have to upload it with. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so this is what we are dealing with. Last time I did this challenge, I put the boat in the middle of the lot, which honestly, it doesn't really matter where you put the build or the shell of a build on the lot when you place it as long as as it you don't like disentack it and you keep it all in one piece you can kind of place it wherever last time i put it in the middle but i didn't like how because of this walkway i can't delete you i had to divide the beach in half so this time because i want the reception area and party area and all to be in one place i decided to move the boat over into the corner and honestly it gives it better views honestly it gives it better views from the rooftop so i'm not mad about it but let's go ahead and kind of see what we have here that uh, we are dealing with. So we have this walkway up here, and all the areas are surrounded by fences. So no one can fall off. <laughs> but it has three layers to it. So you come in on the first layer, and we have this door here that comes into this big room. It has a two-by-four room here just randomly that you can't delete. You also can't move the the door on it which kind of pisses me off but whatever there's also a door that comes out to this balcony and that looks off the front of the boat and then there's the staircase here and also these windows kind of drive me nuts like because they're not placed evenly where the walls line up with them i don't know it's slightly annoying but we're gonna deal with it <laughs> but this staircase leads up to this small room so this is just a small room no Oh, two rooms is just one big room that leads to this door, which comes out on this balcony. And yes, there's a lot of balcony and roof space and whatnot. And then you come over this way and there's a ladder that goes up to the rooftop. And this is the rooftop, which honestly, I mean, just, just look at these views. Look at these views. Imagine getting married right there or even like right here. That would be really pretty too. It just... So pretty. So pretty. So that's what we're dealing with. We can't move or delete any of these. We also, oh, most people that do challenge, shell challenges don't want you to add walls to the outside that are touching the shell because that can change the shape of the shell. You can do like half walls and roofs and whatnot, but don't add walls. You can add walls like out here as long as they're not touching the main shell. So that's kind of the rules. So let's go ahead and jump in. And the first thing I want to do is the layout. But uh, the very first thing I want to do is some stairs. <laughs> I want to do some stairs. I think I'm going to go with an all white theme here. 
Um, and honestly, I, I'm probably going to make it a little fancy. I'm probably going to make it a little fancy. So I'm not going to go with the most basic staircase. I won't go with the marble staircase either. But maybe, what's this? I want, I want to look to see if I like this. Um, let's see. Yeah, that, that could work. That could work. Because I'm kind of thinking this color for, for the boat anyways. Well, that's more gray. I, I did want it more white. <sighs> I, I'm thinking in a white boat. I just think that would be the most simple. I just got to find the white. Here it is. Let's do this white wall texture. That looks good. That looks good. I think this is the one I used last time too. But it was good. It works good for a boat. But I'm going to do all white this time. So we're going to make this door white. All the other ones are already white. So we have that. But I decided to do a staircase here because imagine trying to climb up this ladder in a wedding dress. Yeah, not happening. So I went ahead and placed a staircase here. It does have wooded on it, which I'm not a fan of. I wanted to kind of be all white, but I guess it's fine. And right quick, I am going to add a little gate because I can't technically delete the fence but I can put a gate there and like enter and also I'm going to draw this fence up at the top of the stairs because I'm so scared I know they can't actually fall off but imagine your son just like fell off while she was walking up the stairs to go down the aisle for her wedding that would be horrible so speaking of which we should probably add some railing too yeah let's just add that railing to go with it oh that looks bad in the window but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? So we have that. So that goes up to the rooftop easier than the ladder. I think that works good. And then down here, and I was thinking for this area, we could put a little kitchen in it. They still have to be able to walk through it to get to the upstairs area, so we can't completely turn it into a kitchen. There still has to be a, a hallway, but we could turn this into a, a kitchen area. And then we can also fit a computer somewhere up here because wedding venues is very helpful, helpful to have a computer. So that, that's something for this middle area. I know it doesn't line up on the windows. I'm sorry. Like, I can't move them. And the person that created the shell just did not put them on the tile lining up well. So not much I can do about that. And there still be a hallway there. But they can do that. And then down here, I kind of want to build a uh get ready area for the bride and whatnot so we can put that here and then people can still come in here and go through here to get to the staircase and i think that's going to be the whole layout i am going to turn this into a little private bathroom for the wedding party i actually made you two bathrooms just two little bathrooms for the wedding party and or do I want to do that? That's going to be another wall cutting through, through a window. Can we? I know this is totally ridiculous, but what if we did it like that? What, like, would, would that hurt anything? Like, we could just, we could just make this little toilet room and we'll put a shower in this one. And then this can be a little get ready area. I think that's good. I think that's good. And I was thinking, you know, staring, uh, we'll put another wheel out here like we did last time. All right. I know it doesn't look good with the white. There's no white wheel here, but I figured a boat needs to have some kind of wheel. And this one had a little freezer bunny on it. And also we used this one last time and I don't know. I just, I, I want to try a different one this time. So we have a wheel out here and I was thinking for the next balcony up we do a little photo shoot area now unfortunately i do not have the mosquito pack or machino machino whatever it is i just that is the one stuff pack i actually don't own i don't i don't own that and i don't own the star wars pack those are the only two packs i don't own so i do not have a camera with a tripod but i do at least have camera lights from I think get famous so what I can do is place these up to act kind of like a little uh light for a photo shoot area and then 
we can get a little table. So let's go to surfaces. We'll do a little dining table. Just a, a cute, simple round table. Maybe like a, a bar tie, a high, a high table. That one's a little too uh, not modern. Let's see. What about this one? This one have an all white swatch. Yeah. Okay, we can put this here. Because I'm thinking all white for the wedding venue. I just think that makes no sense. And then we just go to electronics here. And honestly, I want to get the best camera money can afford. So we have that camera. And the idea is someone stand here and take a picture on the table. But really what they'll do is they'll come over here and take a, a picture. But they'll, either way, either way, there's light for when it's nighttime. And look at that view. Look at that view. Imagine doing wedding pictures with that view. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, unfortunately, I didn't have the the tripod, but I could do that at least to do a little fake area. And then up here, obviously, we're going to do the balcony area. I want to, however, what I want to do is I want to copy this. Like, I want to do the same thing I did last time, but slightly different. I'm not going to have a whole roof over it, basically. Let's see, can we can we put it there? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to delete the fence because there's no need for that. And then I want to take another fence. So we have this little fence here and we can do it in white. And I'm going to make a pattern. Like uh, I'm thinking, do we want to do squares or do we want to do cross? I think a cross just looks way prettier. So I can do like this little... Ani, I'm going to draw the shape with the uh, fence and then going to delete the middle parts and it will add like a little awning, but it won't be the same. Now, uh, this is what I was questioning. If I was going to be able to do it on the curb, it's starting to look like that's going to be a no. I've never tried to do this on a curb part. All right, so it's not going to let me add a fence on this rounded part. So I can't cut out that part, but what I am going to do is see, do we want, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it like that. So we can add more fence down this way. And then all I have to do is delete all the middle parts. All right. And as you can see, there is a little shadow on the place under it. And honestly, I kind of like the idea of this staying closed off instead of having holes like this because the wedding arch is going to be right there. So that way if it is raining or something, your wedding arch isn't getting rained on. But honestly, I kind of want to cover that. So first, let's decide what the floor is going to be. Um, I don't know what floor to, to make um, this honestly. We could do something fun like this eco lifestyle one. Hold on, let me try to upgrade and see I can look at it better. And it's not as white as I would like. I don't want to do, like, the exact same floor, but I also don't want to do, like, a crappy floor. We do have the whole diagonal one, and that kind of actually fits with the themes. And maybe we'll do that. We'll do the diagonal wood, and we'll just place that everywhere. If I want something else later in another room, I'll, I'll place it. But right now, I just want to put flooring everywhere so we have it before I forget so we have that, and then honestly, I'm thinking we put some plants on top of here. Okay, so I'm thinking don't cover the whole thing, but cover a part of it and cover most of the seating. I think at least so it'll be somewhat in the shade, and it still looks really cute. And then we can add some columns here. Let's just get the classic uh, ones from Get Together. So we can put this here. I, the, I'm trying to make it not look bad, but that kind of looks bad. Do I, do I need to just say screw it and put it, put it here? I don't want it to get in the way of the wedding arch though. We'll see if that gets in the way. We're just going to put the columns right there for now. So there is some structure to it. Okay, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this. But let's go ahead and do the wedding area because that's the area I'm most excited about. So 
There's a very Pacific arch I'm thinking of, the one that came with the wedding, or the island living specifically, and they have an all-white swatch. Yeah, we can put that there. The it does the columns do kind of get in the way. Honestly, they do. I I think I sh would rather deal with them clipping. I mean, doesn't look the best, but it's not the worst. And honestly, well, I I would have to do that before uh beforehand. I don't I don't think I can do it now. Yeah. I would have to go on each individual one. So I can't add like a little bump out trim. But it'll, it'll do. It'll do. Alright. I was thinking this wedding arch specifically. Because we're already doing iron loving. So it makes sense to go ahead and use it. Let's see. It has enough room for it, or a person to stand behind it. So it's a really small area. So we don't have much room for an aisle. But I am going to use one of the aisles from the wedding story. And just one of the invisible ones because I want to go ahead and put like chairs out. Let's see, what does the all white chairs look like? We have some greenery on them, which I mean could work. We have these two that has some pink on it. I kind of like the like pink vibes. Let's see, we also have this white. No, that that's pink. That is not a, a light white chair. Let's see, we have this chair. I, I can't decide if I like the yellow better or the pink I'm thinking the yellow has more of an actual white chair we could also just say no flowers and use the cloth chairs I'm just wondering how that in real life would match with the beach I don't know if that would be weird there's also these chairs but they also have flowers on the back of them that are the same colors so maybe we will use the cloth chairs I'm gonna have to place these kind of weird um, so they don't totally interfere with the aisle, which the aisle needs to go down one more. There we go. Okay. So I think if we place them, I want to get as many as I can. I know this is a tight area and we're not going to be able to get many chairs. I'm already messing up. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to squeeze in as many as I can. I don't know how many that will be though. Okay. We don't want to take up too much room. We still want them to be able to get from the gate to the walkway so maybe we'll do one there I, i'm thinking that singular one in the back for like the quote-unquote photographer or something like that but really it's just because i want to get in, in in as much seating as possible because this is like the tiniest little wedding area i've ever done so in a total we have 13 chairs yeah 13 chairs so honestly it's gonna need plenty of nighttime lighting too because I figure a lot of people will actually use this at nighttime time as well. So I'm thinking about putting the lanterns kind of lining the archway. Since you're not going to be able to see the archway in actual game. We could have someone go ahead and lining it. But I want to get some actual lighting out here too. <laughs> because there's not a lot of lighting. Let's see. There's these things. Is, is they come on? Ooh, yeah. They do come in white. What if we were to like alt place these at the bottom? The can we shrink them down? I think it would better shrunk down. Yeah, we could put them like that at the bottom of the archway as like decoration. I know that looks kind of weird, but it gives good light, so I kind of like it. And then the they have this light in wedding stories. It means a wedding venue, so I obviously have to use a lot of wedding stories. But I don't like this. Wait, okay, I know this is random, but what about this light from the book nook kit? Because honestly, it gives off decent light and it matches the little, little circles over there. So I kind of like this. I think this is cute. And I'm thinking about putting a little table right here. Let's see. Maybe like a little long table. Oh, the, n none of these long tables are long enough. Uh... I mean, we could use a dining room table, but that, that, that would take up way more room. But I want a long table that people could, like, we could pretend is, like, for gifts. Like, this table's perfect. So maybe we could put this little table here. Do, do we, I can't remember if it's called presents or gift. We do have the pile of presents, which could kind of work. We could put that, like, under 
the thing. It's not like the one you actually would get gifts with. Like, that's these, I think. There's no white. There is gray. Yeah, we can't put... We can't put that where I want to. But we can at least put some of these up on the table. And we can pretend this is where, like, people leave gifts and whatnot. Alright, the amount of time it took me to find a sign I like is a little embarrassing. But... I don't like the, the wedding sign that came with the pack because it doesn't really come in white. So I have the sign. It's kind of modern. You can't really tell it's supposed to be a wedding sign. But I thought, right, first of all, I saw all uh, the sign down here too. And I kind of want to do what I did what I did last time with it and put this sign down here. I'm going to pair it with something else in a minute. But let me get back to this. But I figured we could come here and put some kind of plant, like a tall white plant. Let's see. Let's do colors. Specifically, we do white. Um, I'm wondering if the one I'm thinking of comes in white, but I'm not sure. It's one I use all the time, but I'm not seeing it in white. We do have some wedding uh, story options as well that we could like size up. But I'm not the biggest fan on. There's also these. Let's see. What? Ah, here it is. Yeah, that, that kind of works. That works really well, actually. So we could put it, like, there. Do we like that? Or do we want to go with something else? There is more options. Also, I kind of like the, this for the table. Yeah, this, too. That, that would look nice. I'm just trying to think of things. That would look nice. Do I like that? I do kind of like that. Hold on. So we could. I kind of like them layered together though. So we could put one right there and one right there. And then. We could layer. Do I, do I want. What happens if I, I size this up? Do I like that? Maybe even layered with this. That one's cute. And it fits well. Does it have a different swatch? Yeah, we have like some white. We do have pink. I don't mind having slight pink accents. I just want it to mainly be white. And honestly, let me let me uh place this sign a little bit closer. So it covers up a little bit more of the table. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. It looks like like the couple have a bunch of presents and whatnot then we have a nice little reception area that looks good in the night or the day honestly i really like it in the day though i think it looks really nice it kind of makes me want to put flowers right here i mean this would definitely match the beachy vibes if we did this it's uh it's a little big <laughs> what if it looks oh uh, yeah i kind of like it shrink shrunken down it kind of fits right there pretty good actually there is also this. We have this this straight up palm tree, but I think I think these big bushy ones actually look better. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. I don't want to make it too crowded, but I want to make sure it's decorated. So we have the wedding area. I think that is the main thing I was worried about. So that's good. All right. So at the main area. Let's go ahead and. <clears throat> Uh, put, finish putting lighting out here because you gotta be able to see at night not just at the reception area I mean let's go ahead and just add some lights around so we could continue the ball lights because that is kind of what we have been, been going with there we go I think that lights up most of the outside where it needs to be lit up so that looks good and then honestly I was kind of of thinking here let's see where is it where is it we have cancel the white I don't know right here let's see yeah there we go so we have these like white uh hearts that I thought we could put like beside the sign for the boat because all the because all the boats I've seen have some kind of like writing on them so we could do, do this writing but with this heart sign 
and maybe it shows that it's like meant to be like a wedding bow I don't know I think that's cute I think that's cute and then let's just finish the outside while we're here so I don't want to put too much on this area because I don't want to block anything uh, for the cameras so we might not put anything out here but I think out here I kind of want this to be like a slight getaway spot for uh, anyone that uh, is at the party because there's not going to be a lot of just calm places to go. So I'm thinking maybe we could put some nice loungers out here. Let's see. We have these. These these look a bit modern, but I kind of like it. Or do we want to go with the padded ones? Because we do have all white padded ones, which looks nice. So maybe we can go ahead and just put a couple out here on either side. So uh, there's just a place to come chill if the party gets too much. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And, uh, honest, oh my goodness, of course it didn't place right. Okay, there you go. And honestly, I know this is kind of random, but what about wind chimes? Because those, let's see, where are they? I don't know. There we go. They're under outdoor activities for some bizarre reason. There's not a white version, though. It's not a white version? I don't love that. And those are bamboo. I think... The Lomo ones would be the best. Do we want that? Maybe, maybe we, isn't there a roof above this? Maybe we actually do do the, uh, hanging ones. Cause I can't see the blue from there. Yeah. You could just hang them there. And as you're going down the, on the ocean in the boat, they would sway and make noise and just, you could sit there and chill and relax. So I kind of love that. I kind of love that. Also, I totally did not place these evenly. I'm not doing a good job of placing things evenly on this porch. And honestly, I think every ship needs a telescope. I didn't put that last time. I time regretted it. So I'm going to put one here. I know that that makes this kind of uneven. Do I want to put two? I'm scared that a bunch of people would die if I put two, honestly. Like, I honestly it would be kind of worried about that. I know what I want. I know what I want. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. Cannon. So we have this cannon. I figured because it's a boat, it might have a cannon. But this is a party cannon. And that's kind of appropriate for the whole wedding boat theme. It does kind of take away the relaxation thing. But we could put it like, I don't know. I want to place it like it's an actual cannon, but the the fence kind of makes it go in the way and this can would be much better and it would literally stick out so so we put this here i don't know i just think it's a cute decoration and it's there if you need it you can move it and it'll all be good so we have the little celebration can there and then we should probably work on the inside a little bit yeah probably okay so we're gonna this Right, let's just do lights first. Let's do lights first. All right, so the inside has some lights now. Let's go ahead and look at this door situation down here. I can't move the door. And I can't delete the door, but I can make it a better swatch. So we have that door there. And honestly, I'm going to put this door back here. Or should I put, I guess I could put the toilet in that corner if I did, did the door right here to make it look even. Okay. So that door there, we should probably put a door. Actually, I kind of want an arch right here. Let's see, do we have a good, I know we have a simple arch place somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. There we go. Let's just get this one. There we go. And do I, okay, maybe I do the kitchen first just to see how much room I have in here because I kind of want there. I want you to be able to cook your own cake. I also want you to be able to get on a computer. So I'm thinking maybe let's push for the kitchen to be down here. So we have to have a stove and a refrigerator and a counter. And then in this corner we can put the computer. So we just do like a little singular desk. One that hopefully looks decent. Yeah, this one will work. So we put this here with... 
Uh, let's see, do we have a wedding type chair for office? And we have this high school years one that we could do in all white. That looks kind of wedding. And then just put a computer here. We'll just put a little laptop. Nothing. Well, no. We're trying to make this place look nice. We're trying to make this place look nice. Let's give it a uh, Mac computer. <laughs> there, that makes sense. I kind of like the look of the, this tile. And honestly, I'm thinking about putting it in the bathroom as well. Because that looks really nice. Now, do we have a white tile that matches it? Because the wood is just kind of like, no bueno. I don't remember what pack it was. I should have just looked to see what pack it was from. Well, okay, don't like that. Could put that. I don't hate that. I don't hate it. It doesn't match as well as I would like it to. There's also that always. That's always a good option. Don't like that. Okay, well... <laughs> I think our best option is probably this. So we're going to go with that. We'll also put it in here. So we have that. And then let's put a Pacific cake table for the kitchen. I know we're not going to use it as a cake table, but we can at least have it ready to place. Here we go. We can put that one. That looks nice. All nice and white and the only thing we're missing is a bin and a trap and a sink. So we'll just put a little nice white sink. And honestly, can we put a dishwasher under the sink? It doesn't look good if we do that. It does not look good if we do that. Okay. Okay. What about, yeah. I mean, if it'll work, it'll work. But I don't know how well that'll work. And we do need a little bin, so I'm just going to put the uh, new the new one. Where is it? There we are. Just go ahead and put this nice one so we don't have to worry about emptying the trash on this lot. Perfect. So we have a little kitchen in case you need to bake yourself a cake. You also have the computer in case you need to order a cake. And then, honestly, I'm thinking about just kind of leaving this hallway blank. Let's go ahead. I'm thinking we just put the same wallpaper that's on the outside. I know that it's not fancy, but I feel like it's realistic. So we're going to do that in that room. We're going to go ahead and, and do that in these rooms as well. Yeah, there we go. So everything at least has wallpaper. Really, there's I don't feel like there's much to be put in this hallway. People are mainly just going to be crossing through here to get to that. I also, we could place this forward one so there's more room for people to walk to the wedding area. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so I just put some plants. So we have this little light up plant over here and I finally used the wedding flowers. I just figured I'd use them somewhere this being a wedding pack. And I put a little seat out here so they could wait on people in the kitchen. I really don't know what else to do with this. I might come back and add some decoration later, but I think that's a good start. I also, while I was going through and finding stuff, I went ahead and pulled out some stuff I thought could be useful in these rooms. So let's go ahead and uh, find a door <laughs> that uh, goes here. I kind of forgot this area needs a door. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do... A basic double door I think that would be our safest bet maybe just like hmm, that's even a little too fancy I want like super basic double doors I'm not seeing them without the mean glass I don't want them to be glass all right well I guess that's the best we're gonna get so I'm debating if it should be down here down here or right here I kind of want it to be like right here so we could we could make it even with this door yeah that works that works and then we can pretend there's do we, want, we could put a divider right here this is one tile but it doesn't look like it fits one tile even though it's technically one tile I could at least put one in between the doors there and then I, I, I guess I could put a bookcase. I, do, I don't want to put a bookcase 
But honestly, I think that's going to fit better than any storage. And it's going to have to work. It's going to have to work. Do we have like a really tiny corner bookcase? That's not this locker. And this one's mostly white, I guess. Mostly white. And then we could do some like decoration, like get ready stuff. So we could put like a hair dryer. That makes absolute sense. And maybe let's just go with some combs. Just some basic getting ready stuff. But I kind of want it. Now, don't know how well this will work. I don't know how well this is going to work. But I kind of wanted to put like a wall of mirrors. Which I can't, I was going to do on this wall, but then we put a door there. Is it going to look bad to put mirrors over the windows? Okay. First, well actually, no, that actually lines up quite well. I'm not mad about that. I'm actually really not mad at that. So we have like a wall mirrors here. Does it fit here? Not really. Not really. Okay, so we can just put the single mirrors here kind of line up some mirrors over here because the idea is this is a changing area and what if what if hold on hell mm, okay, I don't have too much room to do it but I could do a little one so I'm actually thinking we add oh my goodness why is that that platform so big I just want to add a small platform let's see there there we go this is what I was thinking of all right so we have a little step up and this could be like where she tries on her dress and looks at her outfit and fangirls over herself. I think that looks good. So you have that. I'm also going to put some poofs in front of the mirror as if like the bridesmaids or something were getting ready there. I also put like a makeup box over here to kind of get that picture across. We have these. Honestly, these look very wedding. These look very wedding-y. So we're going to put one there. We can put one here. Yeah, just kind of line up there. And then a makeup box. Here we go. We can put this here by the chairs so people can sit there and do their makeup. And honestly, speaking of makeup, what if we did have a little vanity area? So we could put that there and put one of these chair. Oh, th of that of course that chair does not line up. It has to be a, a dining chair. And I don't think we have one to match that, unfortunately. We do have this chair, though, which I used somewhere er else earlier, so that works. So, like, the main sim can get ready there. All, all her bride maids get, get ready over there. And I wanted to put in a tiny shower, just like a standalone shower in just one of the bathrooms. I don't want there to be too many showers. But I figured just in case your bride or groom need to shower, there was at least one there. And then and for the rest of it, we'll just put toilets and whatnot. So put this toilet here. We can put this toilet in the corner, kind of like that. All right, so we've put a toilet some mirrors and sinks, and honestly, we need toilet paper um, on the wall. So you can have some toilet paper there. Let's go ahead. Why? I always do this to myself. Actually, actually, that wall was already there, so I didn't do that to myself. So we can do that. So we have some bathrooms. We can. There's got uh, here. We have just a regular soap dispenser here. Maybe we could add some toothbrushes. You know you want to brush your teeth before your wedding. You know you want to brush your teeth before your wedding. That's just kind of a big deal. So that's just kind of some basic bathrooms. We have that there. It's a pretty good a get ready area. I think that could go well. I wish I could fit more of these, but with the bathrooms there, I really can't. But I do like the platform. I think the platform detail was a cute moment. So I have a little get ready area, and then honestly, this is just going to be a hallway. So uh, what do we want to put here? Do we want to put more windows? I kind of want to put more windows. It says we can't remove the windows. It does not say we cannot add more. 
I kind of like that wall of windows being there for you, where you can just look out uh, side at, at the front of the boat. Okay, so I put a little simple welcome area with some flowers. And then I got to thinking, like, what if you have, like, infants and toddlers that uh, need some entertainment? So I put some infant mats here in case you want to put your infants out. I have a toy chest for kids. And I also put a couple of infant and uh, toddler bathroom needs. So I put a little uh, potty chair and a miniature changing table for the uh, infants, just in case your Sims family needs it. I don't know how much you would actually need that, but I thought it was a good idea here. And then honestly, we should probably get some kind of wall art in this place because we don't have like any wall art. Um, do we have white wall art? Because I'm trying to go for like an all white theme here. I don't know how wedding that is, but I love the frame on that. So we're going to use that. Here we have this little wall art piece here and honestly I see this more being a woman's get ready area so what if we use these like these like women posters here I think these will look really cute in the changing area we can put the makeup mirror right in between them and the rest of the walls kind of fill with mirrors so don't really need too much else in there let's see that's pretty good and then up here, let's see, is there any wall? Yeah, we should probably put some kind of wall art right there. Would it be a Chez Pride build if this painting was not in there somewhere? No, no, it absolutely would not. Okay, so that's basically all the blank wall space we have. So I think on that, I kind of want to call that boat done. So the actual boat is done, but I did... However, let me just make sure there's nothing outside I'm missing. I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. I like it. It has lights and whatnot. We have the wedding area. Okay, so we have all the necessities on the boat, but I did want to do some reception area stuff out on the beach. Just because you can't fit too much more on the boat, and there's not much room for reception stuff. So I was thinking, you can't attach walls to the the shell structure. That's against the rules. But you can have walls out here and, like, platforms out here. So what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to make a gazebo. And bear with me because I've never done this. But we have this. And we can kind of, like, make this bigger. Okay, so something shaped like that. And we can kind of put it in the corner of the lot. I like that. And then we would have to put a roof on top of it, obviously. Okay, that doesn't look the best, but it also doesn't look the worst. So I don't actually hate it. Let's see. Also, can I make this? Yeah, I don't think I can make this bigger without changing the boat. So I can't be... Because he was not going to be as tall as I want it to be. But it is there. Um... Also, we need to put some kind of trim on it. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. And also a platform. Do we have a, a thicker white platform than that? And that that one works. And then, honestly, probably just going to copy the columns from over there and kind of put them around because gazebos have columns. There we go. And also, I need like a white roof do we even have a white roof we do surprisingly so do i like that i kind of like that for a gazebo and then we can just straight up copy so what i also need to put the wood on this walkway and we can put it here and then honestly we need some stairs so i'm gonna we need stairs not only to the gazebo which i kind of like them being right there that's cute but we do need stairs to this area I kind of wanted to put them on the end. I don't know why that wasn't placing right. Why is that not placing? Why, why can't I put uh, stairs on the end of it? The last time I did this build, I could put stairs on the end of it. Weird. Okay, well, I guess they have to go on the side, unfortunately. Okay, well, we have some stairs to go up here because you can't just walk on it without them. 
And honestly, I know we have the the get ready bathrooms, but the guests need bathrooms too. So I guess let's go ahead and put some like portable bathrooms here. Let's see. Come here. This one looks nice. This one looks nice. So we can place this in the corner. All right. So I did some landscaping to try to blend it in with the landscaping already in the world. Also, I should probably do a little bit of landscaping around the gazebo, just, you know, to kind of blend in everything. So, let's, uh, we could do another one of these trees, just shove it in the corner there. Uh, let's do some smaller black rocks. Do we want to size them up? They do look kind of better sized up, but I don't want them to run into the gazebo. So maybe we do a couple of different smaller ones. There we go. We could do it like that and then add some more of these flowers back in. All right. I don't know how far the flowers would actually go into the water, but I just wanted to uh, add some um, evenness to all the landscaping. And honestly, I think that's probably enough landscaping. But what I was wanting to use the gazebo for, and honestly, I might even in before I put anything on the gazebo try to add some fencing to match the fencing on the boat because don't gazebos like normally have fencing on them am I just totally wrong about that I don't know I haven't seen a gazebo in like four or five years it's been a while but they used to be all over the place when I was growing up like even at my school like we had them on the playground but the reason I was doing the gazebo was I thought this would be a good place for like a couple to have their first dance or something. I thought that would be really cute. So oh, I was thinking we could do activities and skills, music, and then we put in this invisible dance floor so they could be centered right there. Okay, so I was thinking like one of these where people could come sit and play quote unquote street music, but people could have like their first dance to it. But I think. This one was more professional, but this one was more beachy, and this is like a beach lot. So we're going to go there, we're going to put it there. I'm also, however, going to put down a little guitar and possibly like a violin. Let's see, we could just, like, let's put a guitar there. I just want to give people a couple of different options. We can also put a little microphone here. Er like someone's performing we could have a whole little band up here here's the violin violin sometimes is appropriate for wedding uh, songs so that's good so we have a little band performance up here we have this and then probably we should just line the the gazebo with some seating all right there we go we have some comfy seating here and honestly i'm gonna move this up one yeah i like that okay so we have that and honestly really I think all that I really want left over here is some plants. So let's see if we can get, uh, let me, I actually know exactly which ones I want. I want the ones that are up by the arch. So let's get these plants, this banana tree, and put it down here. So we could put a, let me just get both of them here right quick. Because I do want two, one on either side. But I don't know. I want to make sure they're not going to cut through the roof. But I want to make sure they're not clipping too much with the columns. And I don't want to completely block the stairs. Let's see. There we go. So we could do it like. Nope, that's not working. Yeah, there we go. That works. So we could do it like that. I want to make them even. But I think that's the best I'm going to get. I think that should we put more I kind of want I kind of want to put more like actually make some even smaller like what if we have like them downsized like that at and put right here do I like them downsized that far I might actually like them sized up a little bit more so we could like put these in this corner yeah that, that kind of gives beachy gazebo vibes I like that I like that okay so we have the dance area, we have a little band area, and the gazebo. 
I need to ask you, and now really all that's left is the actual, like, reception area, so, like, the bar and the food. Is there anything, other suggestions that we need, we, we need dining chairs, which we'll get when we do the food area? Uh, uh, really, we need a bar. We don't have a stereo. We might want a stereo. I know I just put a bunch of instruments. But we can have like a stereo out at the bar or something. That might be cute. But let's go ahead and pick out a bar. So I want a white bar. I just, everything else is white. So let's make this one white too. So we need a long white bar that looks nice. But not too nice to be on a beach. Like that looks too nice to be on a beach. Honestly, I don't, well, it kind of works. It kind of works. I can't decide if I like the, the tall bar better or the standalone bar. I kind of like the tall bar. Like, it doesn't really go with much. I kind of want, I want to add some. Maybe we could line it up better with, uh, the, this. Like, we could put it, like, on this angle and it kind of be behind that tree. Do we like that, though? I kind of like that. I just don't want to block the stairs. I also don't want to put it too far into the water, which is another concern. I don't think it's too far into the water. All right, but honestly, I think, wh where are the ones I'm thinking about? I think like the high school year bar our stools would be really cute, but I don't see them. Also, this would be really cute. This goes really well with the bar, so maybe we'll... We'll put some bar seating here, and, uh, let's see, we need a speaker. We need a speaker out here is what I said we would do. Of course, I wasn't planning on the bar being so close when I said that, but this is fine. There's this. This looks kind of fancy, so maybe we could put this by the bar. It doesn't exactly look like a speaker, which I like. I kind of like that about it. And then, really, for the rest of the area... I'm just thinking food and seating, like some seating, uh, maybe, maybe real quick, real quick, I can, uh, I actually read my mind, here it is, right here, I think I'm going to put some beach towels down, J just over, maybe over here, just in the corner for anyone that wants to come take a moment away. I know it's right about the bathroom and that's kind of weird, but this, there's not much beach area on this beach, okay? Okay, so we have a couple of towels over there, but what I was really wanting was, um, a, a food table for people to get, like, a food buffet. I wanted a longer one, though. I think all we have is the little round ones, which is kind of annoying. But we, we'll make it work. So let's put maybe uh, two two of the buffet tables over here. And then really, I, I need a cake table. We need a cake table that is obviously a cake table. Maybe like this. I don't know if I want to... to I kind of want it to be round. Maybe we just go with the classic dine-out little cake table moment. So we can put that there. Yeah, we could get that there and put these over here. And then honestly, I think all, all we really need left is some eating area. So maybe let's go to the outdoor eating and see if there's like an all white umbrella table. That would be ideal. Like this maybe? Do we want to do smaller tables or do we want to do the bigger tables. Honestly, I think that, well, we could use the, the new tables. I really like these. These are kind of fancy too, because it has like little ridges on there. So maybe we can, uh, just place a couple throughout here. This is a small wedding venue, so I don't feel like we need terribly too many, but maybe something like that. Wait, I'm, I feel like I need one more to make the pattern. And maybe move them down to center them a little better. There we go. 
I know probably no one else will notice they're centered, but I like the fact they're centered. And then, honestly, what pack were these from? Because I really like these. Let's see. These are from the new pack, too. Okay, do, do we have dining room chairs to match? Though, that is the question. Let's see. Packs. Let's go down to kits. Cozy Bistro. Of course, there's not really matching ones, but these are close enough. So we could just put these at all the tables. And uh, let's see, is there anything else we really need for a wedding lot, though? Honestly, though, one last thing, and that is a drink fountain. I think that's only fair. It says grave fountain. Maybe we should do the one. Yeah, I kind of like the one from the luxury party pack better. So we could pair that there. And honestly, I think that's pretty good. Like, there, it has everything we need. And I like the all white concept. It even has a photography area. So I think this is pretty good. So I'm just going to show it off in tabs mode real quick. Because sometimes it's hard to follow along when I'm jumping around everywhere. But basically, this is the little beach area. You come over here. We have the party area. So we have a little gazebo with the dance area. We have a, a little fancy bar with a cake table and some uh, seating with eating areas. And then there's a little restroom over here with some towels to chill out by the beach because we are on the beach. And then you come this way. This is how you get to the boat. So you come up here and the main entrance is here. You walk in, there's some like a little kid area. Um, the entrance area and then in here is a little get ready area for the wedding party so you walk in and there's some makeup we have some mirrors and a little platform and then there's two bathrooms one that's just a toilet and a sink it has a little training potty for kids and then there's a little bigger of a bathroom that has a shower changing table for infants and of course a toilet and whatnot so that's the little getting ready room. If you go out on the front balcony, we have a little, uh, like, as if they were going to drive the ship. And then some relaxation area with a wind chime. And you go this way to go upstairs. And we have a little hallway here that leads to the outside. But there's also here a little sitting area and a kitchen with a little computer for any of your cake needs. And on this balcony is where the photography area is. So you can come out here and take photos of your sim. And then if you go this way, around this way, you can either take the ladder or what you're probably going to prefer to do is take the stairs and come up to the... Uh, balcony that's the actual wedding area it has this little roof piece over it and you come in here we have a little gift table here yeah it's just some fancy stuff and then this is the actual wedding area so we have the seating and the fancy beachy arch with the beautiful ocean background so that is the whole build i hope you enjoyed it I actually this turned out better than I thought it was. I was actually questioning how this was going to turn out. But I think the little gazebo actually kind of makes it. Because it kind of makes it like it's one big lot, not just the boat. I don't know. I just think this looks really nice. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff. Because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right?